Well, hello, this is Diamond from Diamond Shine. So guys, I'm excited to see you today. Today, we're gonna to do some color changing lip balm. But before we get into the video, I wanna ask you a question. Have you joined the Patreon? All of my recipes is in the Patreon. That means if you have been looking to make candles, you may be on YouTube searching, 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 trying to make strong candles, trying to make strong wax melts, don't know where to get your vendors, don't know what kind of wax to buy, don't know anything, but just thinking that YouTube is gonna help you, get in the Patreon on the $10 level and it will change your life. I have so many candle making recipes. I teach you guys how to make gel candles, dessert candles, um, straight pour candles, wax melts, dessert wax melts, so much is there. Shoot, go ahead and hit the like while I'm sitting here talking to you and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so my ingredients for this particular recipe is very simple. This is gonna be a very simple recipe, okay? And if you wanna alternate and change out anything, you can. So in this recipe, we're gonna use some jojoba oil. We're gonna use some vitamin E. We're gonna use this color changing pigment right here, which actually changes to a pink color. We're gonna use some flavor oil, and that's a bubblegum flavor oil because we're gonna be doing bubblegum. And so what flavor oil is, is basically like a um, fragrance oil, but it's safe for the lips, okay? So it kind of tricks your brain into thinking, um, okay, I'm getting bubblegum, like I'm tasting bubblegum, all right? You're gonna need these uh, lip balm containers right here. And you can get this tray off of Amazon. Okay. So these are my lip balm containers. Of course, these are my tops. And um, normally they come all together, but I brought it from a candle making supplier and I won't be doing that again. Either. Now these are cocoa butter um, chips. I have cocoa butter in different bags, beeswax. Beeswax is pretty good for um, lip balms because it makes it hard. Without beeswax, without cocoa butter, you will have a very soft lip balm. So you can omit a lot of things in a recipe, but you wanna make sure that you use the beeswax. And we're gonna need some stearic acid too. Stearic acid also helps with the hardness of the balm, okay? Normally what I use is like beakers. I have a lot of beakers. So this is something that you know works for me, but today, I'm gonna put two different phases. This is gonna be the cool down phase, and this is gonna be the heated phase because this can go into the microwave without a problem. Okay, so to your heat proof container, you're gonna add your cocoa butter, you're gonna add your beeswax, your stearic acid, your jojoba oil, and your castor oil, and you're going to melt that down, okay? So go ahead and put that on a double boil method, or you can put it into the microwave, whichever one you feel best doing. So that is your flavor oil. And also to this phase, you're gonna add your vitamin E. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add your pigment, your color pigment, to this beaker. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to stir all of this together until it is evenly combined. All right. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to let the heated phase cool down and then we're going to combine both of these two together. Um, now, I want you guys to see exactly how this whole thing work. Okay, so as you can see, it's like an orange color and it looks like, you know, you're going to have some orange pigment all right that's that's what it looked like but that is not true once you put it to your skin the ph is going to change it to um a red depending on you know however it changes it, it can go darker or it can go lighter and in my case it went a little bit darker and i actually like it i actually like it it reminds me of using lipstick but not using lipstick so i think this is pretty cool for like kids and teens and stuff like that um this is a cool project all right so this oil is pretty hot um and then it just kind of cooled down you know during the process or whatever you want to make sure that you add those two together underneath the flash point of the flavor oil so 100 100 degrees should be okay all right as long as it's not solidifying so you want to mix that together the hot oil along with the you know the flavor oil the pigment and the vitamin e you want to take that and you want to just put a little bit of oil in that and then you want to combine those two together so you want to sit there and you just stir it together um and also look if you guys want to know 
it's best to just put this back into some heat because once that beeswax get into glass, it's hard to get it out. So just heat that up just so you could be able to get it clean. So combine everything together and just stir it and then you will start putting it into your trays okay and fill up your tray of course and remember it's easy to clean because you know any excess wax can be remelted and that is our finished product and this is how they look in the lip balm containers and i'm pretty satisfied with it and it's pretty red on my lips all right